Hello students, welcome to the module on trigonometry. In this video, we'll discuss the wrapping function at multiples of pi over 3. We'll consider omega of pi over 3. So to compute this wrapping function, we will plot the unit circle, x and y. We'll draw it. There's our unit circle. We'll plot the point 1, 0 on the unit circle. And then we'll draw the theta axis, which is the tangent line to the unit circle, at the point 1, 0. So here's my theta axis. And then I will go up pi thirds. And I will wrap this interval counterclockwise around the unit circle and end up at some value over here. The value we'll end up at is right around here. Similarly, I can plot this value in the unit circle. And we'll ask the question, what proportion of the unit circle is pi over 3? So we'd like to know what proportion k of 2 pi is pi over 3. And so if we divide by 2 pi, this tells us that k is equal to pi over 3 times 2 pi, or 1 over 6. So 3 pi is 1 sixth of the unit circle, so I have to partition the unit circle into sixths. So I have a sixth, a sixth, a sixth, a sixth, a sixth, and a sixth. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 of the circle, where I'm also including the axis itself. So what we'll do is we'll focus in on this triangle over here. And we'll plot it over here. Where this dotted line over here corresponds to the x-axis. We know that this has a unit length of 1, this has a unit length of 1, and we know that this angle over here is 1 sixth of 2 pi. So 1 sixth of 2 pi is going to be pi over 3. And we'd like to find these other angles over here. Since this number over here is 1 and this number over here is 1, this is an isosceles, right, tr this is an isosceles triangle. which means that this angle over here, we'll call it x, has to be equal to this angle over here, x. So we'd like to find out what x is going to be. Now, notice that x plus x plus pi over 3 has to be equal to 180 degrees. 180 degrees is the same as pi radians, so this will be pi. And so this tells me that 2x is equal to pi minus pi over 3 which is 2 pi over 3. So 2x is 2 pi over 3. We can now cancel the 2's and conclude that x is equal to pi over 3. So these x's are both in fact equal to pi over 3. And now all the angles in this triangle are pi over 3. I have pi over 3, pi over 3, pi over 3. So this is a 60, 60, 60 triangle, or it is actually more than an isosceles triangle. It's actually an equilateral triangle. So if it's an equilateral triangle, all the side lengths have to be equal. This total side length up top is 1. So now if I cut this 1 in half, what we'll have is we'll have our triangle over here, our equilateral triangle, 1, 1. We also know this is 1. If we cut it in half, I will have a 1 half and a 1 half. And so we'd like to find this height over here, this y value. And to find this y value, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So by the Pythagorean theorem, implies that y squared plus 1 half squared is equal to 1 squared. If I simplify this, I will have y squared. This will be 1 quarter, because 1 half times 1 half is a quarter. y squared is 1, because 1 squared is 1, minus 1 quarter. So 1 minus a quarter is 3 quarters. Taking the square root of this, I have that y 
is equal to plus or minus the square root of three over the square root of four, which is plus or minus root three over two. And since we're in the first quadrant over here, both the x and the y are positive, so that tells me that my wrapping function at pi over three will be equal to, the x coordinate is this length over here, this length over here is exactly equal to, as we can just draw this triangle down over here with the dotted line, that's equal to 1 half, and this is root 3 over 2. So the wrapping function of pi over 3 is exactly 1 half, and then root 3 over 2. Now the other multiples of pi over 3 just lie in different quadrants. So for example, in the second quadrant over here, the x is going to be negative and the y is going to be positive. In the third quadrant, the x and y are both negative. And in the fourth quadrant, the x is positive and the y is negative. So this same structure is true, except the only difference is that I'll have plus or minus options based on what quadrant I'm in. Thank you very much.